Aquariums will eventually take the place of trees. Shocked? There's nothing shocking about this. There are aquariums in Serbia filled with water that can absorb CO2 10 to 50 times faster than mature trees. This groundbreaking device, sealed in a 600 liter water tank, can replace the air purifying power of two 10 year old trees or 200 square meters of grass. Let's look at how it works and why Serbia needs it. And who is the genius behind this brilliant innovation? The concept of liquid tree. About 59% of the people in Serbia live in cities and that number is going up. Sadly, 75% of the world's carbon dioxide emissions come from cities. That's bad news for the planet. Sadly, Serbia has the gloomy title of Europe's worst performer with 175 pollution-related deaths per 100,000 people and ranking 33rd globally for air quality. The pollution is so intense that it's visible, smelly, and even tasteable during the worst times. And to make things worse, cities are all jam-packed, which doesn't leave much room for trees to grow. And you know what? Trees are like Earth's natural air cleaners. They soak up CO2 and keep the air clean. But in cities, there's just not enough space for them. But then something pretty extraordinary happened. Dr. Ivan Spasoviec, along with a brilliant psychologist and an engineer, came up with a groundbreaking idea, the concept of a liquid tree. They decided to put this idea into action, and where better to do it than in the heart of Belgrade, on Makedonska Street. Their invention caught the attention of some pretty important folks like the UNDP, the Ministry of Environmental Protection, and the Climate Smart Urban Development Initiative. They recognize Liquid 3 as one of the top 11 most innovative and climate smart solutions out there. Why? Because it had this imaginative, super useful, and totally unique design that set it apart from the crowd. But what is a liquid tree? In a fascinating development back in late 2021, a group of brilliant scientists from the University of Belgrade in Serbia introduced the world to liquid trees. They created a remarkable solution known as Liquid 3 which essentially functions as an urban photobioreactor dedicated to purifying city air by siphoning off carbon dioxide. So, what's the secret behind these liquid trees? Well, a 600 liter tank brimming with microalgae, tiny yet powerful agents of environmental change, these microalgae perform their magic using the age-old process of photosynthesis, much like regular trees and plants. They harness the energy of sunlight through chlorophyll, converting CO2 into life-giving oxygen. What's truly astonishing is that these liquid trees are exceptionally efficient. In fact, they outpace their leafy counterparts working anywhere from 10 to a whopping 50 times faster at ridding the atmosphere of CO2. Some of these microalgae, like Chlorella vulgaris, can even outshine trees by being up to 400 times more effective at this crucial task. As soon as the concept came into public, it grabbed people's attention, mainly due to their ultra-modern cyberpunk vibe. Imagine this. Clear tanks filled with an eerie green liquid, softly glowing from within. They're like something from a sci-fi flick, instantly triggering those classic sci-fi fears. They're found in ponds and lakes all over Serbia, and the best part is that they can thrive in regular tap water. Plus, they're like the Chuck Norris of algae. They can handle extreme temperatures, whether it's scorching hot or freezing cold. Now, the beauty of the system is that it's pretty low maintenance. You don't need to be a plant expert to take care of it. All you have to do is remove the biomass that forms as the algae multiply and guess what? The biomass makes for fantastic fertilizer. So it's a win-win. You get clean air and you get some useful plant food in the process. Every month and a half, you add some fresh water and the necessary minerals and these algae just keep on growing. It's like having your own personal never-ending air purifying algae farm. The cool part is that, like actual trees, these devices are solar powered. Solar panels on top soak up sunlight, keeping them running day and night. Even during the gloomy winter, they've got it covered. They don't just sit pretty either, they're multitasking marvels. A clever pump inhales polluted air and pumps it through the water to nourish the microalgae. Plus, they're not just art pieces, they double as city benches and offer a handy phone charging spot. Tree divides the internet. Surprisingly, liquid trees have started quite a controversy online. No, this is just another means of virtue signaling and spending money. Plant trees, plant six to make up for the lack of age for carbon capture, then pass a law prohibiting cutting them down without permission. Really, this is just another band-aid approach to something that our world handles with CO2 conversion. How about planting more plants too? As for not having enough room, that might be the actual problem to solve. More room, more plants, and less pollution equals fewer stressed out city people, a Twitter user said. 
Before Atlanta gets any ideas, liquid trees don't reduce erosion, enrich soil, prevent flooding, and improve the quality of groundwater, tweeted Atlanta Community Press Collective. Some folks claim they can't replace real trees in solving deforestation issues or soil erosion, but hold on, their creators didn't aim to replace trees. Our goal is not to replace forests, but to use this system to fill those urban pockets where there is no space for planting trees. In certain conditions of great pollution, trees cannot survive. While algae do not mind that pollution, Dr. Spasjevic says in the UNPD article. We must always keep in mind that the consequences of global warming are far more severe than we currently realize. Around 30% of this warning can be attributed to carbon emissions, which are one of the most significant contributors to greenhouse gases. An astonishing 100% of the warming of the planet that has been recorded since the middle of the 1900s may be attributed to human activities in general. That is a significant point. And if all of that was not sufficient for you, consider this next part. Even if we were to immediately stop manufacturing greenhouse gas emissions, the temperature would continue to rise for the next many decades. We should anticipate a delay of approximately 40 years before the climate ultimately stabilizes and even then, the average temperature will be far higher than it was in the past. This is where innovative technologies such as liquid trees come into play. These little wonders were born in places where planting trees just won't cut it. Trillion trees? Impressive, but don't overlook the tiny bioreactors. From day one, they're carbon dioxide gobblers, which is a win in the fight against climate change. The Financial Cost Request of Liquid 3 vs. Real Tree First up, the production cost of Liquid 3 is no small matter. It can be a pretty penny. But here's the cool part. The walls of these liquid tree bioreactors can be made from various plant sources, including waste materials from forestry and agriculture. That's like hitting two birds with one stone. You're creating a sustainable and eco-friendly alternative to traditional materials while tackling pollution. One big plus with these liquid trees is their ease of handling. You can mold them into any shape or size you want. This adaptability makes them perfect for all kinds of applications. Dr. Ivan Spasujevic also pointed out that right now the monthly maintenance for the handmade prototypes cost around 60 euros per month, which is relatively high. But when you compare this to planting and taking care of a traditional tree, it starts to make sense. Planting a tree involves soil, fertilizers, plants, water, and labor costs, and then there's the ongoing maintenance like pruning, watering, fertilizing, and dealing with pests. So, in the grand scheme of things, the cost of maintaining these liquid trees seems much more manageable and efficient. It's a great example of how technology can step in to help us solve big environmental issues in a cost-effective and sustainable ways. Urban areas worldwide are adorned with these futuristic bioreactors. They aren't just climate heroes, they turn cities into sci-fi landscapes. Initiatives like Liquid 3 are prime examples of how biotech, microbiology, cool gadgets, and eco-savvy ideas merge to tackle our planet's problems. <laughs>